and train the irresponsible, one-sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets Consequences of Fake News The rapid spread of fake news and disinformation online can have profound consequences. Examples include distrust in media, undermining the democratic process, platforms for harmful conspiracy theories and hate speech, spread of false or discredited signs. Information shapes our worldview and we make important decisions based on information. We form an idea about people or a situation by obtaining information. So if the information we see is invented, false, exaggerated, or distorted, we won't make right decisions. A fake news can make a person turn away from reality therefore making them do the wrong things hearing a false fact can make someone believe in it and can cause unnecessary panic or false hope depending on the type of the news 
there is a possibility that fake news we got will be shared with others and will cause further confusion or misunderstanding. There are some negative effects of fake news. Number 1. Since people mostly believe in fake news, contents are misleading and causing people to misinform and disseminate wrong information. It also harms to the reputation of someone who will share it. Number 2. Fake news about health can cause harm to people who will try the advice or remedies written in the news. Number 3. Fake news sometimes affects the true news. People don't easily believe the real news because of the first information appeared in the fake news. Ways on how to stop the spread of fake news. First, evaluate the news according to its currency. Currency is the date when the news has been released or out or when it is happened. You will click on a story and notice that the date was from a few months or years ago. But your friends are acting outraged as if it is happening in the moment. Relevance we need to know the relevance of the news to what we are searching for or on what we are seeking for an information. Next is the authority. The authority tackles about author, publisher, sponsor of the news. Do they have authority on the subject or do they have an agenda? Accuracy. In accuracy, we need to know if the information needed is supported by evidence. Does the author cite credible sources? Is the information verifiable in other places? Next is the purpose. What is the purpose of this news? To outreach, to call to action, or to inform? The second way to stop the spread of fake news is to stop sharing fake news on social media. We all know that social media can make a news story spread in just one click. So in order to stop the fake news, we should refrain ourselves from sharing it on social media. If we know that the news we are reading is fake, we need to restrain ourselves from sharing it. The third way is to stop making rumors. One of the reasons of fake news is the rumors. Rumors is a report of uncertain or doubtful truth. An example of it is sharing information to someone that is not real. The last way is to visit reliable sources. In order to know the real news, we need to visit some sources that are reliable. Visiting reliable sources can help to stop the spread of fake news.